You get in the car, you drive it, and it has absolutely the same response mm. as any other vehicle, except it doesn't have the noise. He's you know. quite sort of butch and macho with his cars. So, you know, I mean, I would naturally like a car like this because, you know, but I was amazed when Taylor drove it and I know that he came back and he said it's fantastic. He said it's just like driving, you know, a proper fully powered car. When you pull up to a stop sign mm -hmm. and someone can be next to you, you have the people rolling down the window and yelling out, so how is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can have these conversations, you're shouting from one car yeah. to the other saying, well, it's just like any other car, except any pollution that's out there would be avoided with this, totally. This is an American-produced car. The fact that, you know, you look at the pollution, you look at the concern with the industry, and you look at GM, who's had a really tough year. They've got the answer right here. My God, huge plaudits to GM for carrying through and getting this car on the road. I think it's a, a fantastic thing that they've done. When something new comes, it takes the public and the world just a, a while to kind of catch up with it. And, and it's the shock of the new, you know, which people look, oh, oh they can't get their heads around it. Um, you only have to drive in this for a minute to get your head around it because it's, it's the simplest thing in the world to drive. This is the future right here, and it's American made. Sunset. Um, maybe she likes my car. <laughs>